Here we are, guys. We are out on the beach. Welcome back. Say hello, Wingman. Hello, guys. Yeah, it's not very nice weather. We'll we'll persevere. See what we can do. Uh, yeah, so I've got a nice uh, nice rig there tonight with two daggers on them. Oh, and, not not going for the knotless knot, sir. And I mean daggers. Yeah, mate. They look sharp. That is the um, H. What they call the eagle claw. Tripod. All right. Oh yes. They're like there's like two sides. There's like a dagger point that goes in. Mate, I thought you didn't have any of them left. I lied. <laughs> and oh, yeah, knotless knot on the end. So it's actually not a knot. It's just basically held on by friction. Yeah. So that's it. Actually presents hook better. So when it comes up, like when it comes up in the hand, it hooks into your hand. And if you had it on normally, if you just tied it on normally, that wouldn't have happened. So it turns the right way. So I was told that. Uh, we'll have to we'll have to prove that actually not tonight because it's raining but we'll do that another day we'll just tie that on normally and then you know just see what difference it has when it yeah straight away dug in and it yeah yeah and it's it's a really good tip that so yeah i've just got um yeah loose pen oil on there and i made a little video at home earlier guys which is i'm going to stick it on the end of this video it's four minutes long and it's how to make these little beauties so oh, there's yeah. a squid bomb so i basically bought these from um like an Asian supermarket, they were cleaned with the body stuff back in them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, I mean, all I need to do is just go in and out of there under the string. Like that, that's it. Beautiful. That's how I did it before. And then uh, just get my string. And what's the bet in? Oh, hey, yeah, it's playing hey. ball. That's a first. What's going on, mate? Well. Yeah, so I'm only, I'm literally lobbing out here at the beach. We're down at the beach and we're going to be lobbing. So, and the, the tighter you go with the string, obviously the this is like a sausage and it gets tighter and tighter and that'll want to ooze out then. So I just work along the back, just get it into more of a- Sausage shape. Mouth friendly shape, if you want. <laughs> what have I done there? Snap yeah. it over, start again, son. Anyway. Yeah, so that's that bit done, look, and I can go up, I can go along here a bit more. Pop that up a bit there. Drop, I drop, drop the bait, drop the ball. Right, so there's me, obviously, 56 pound line there. So I just sort of hold that onto the body of the squid and try and get some cotton on it. Don't want to stick on that in the middle bit, does it? There you go. So it keeps it all nice and pinned. And now you can see it's getting really tight. Tight, yeah, ready start, to burst. Yeah, it'll start oozing out of here in a minute if I go much more on that. Yeah, so I'm just gonna leave it at that. And uh, like that little uh, finger there, came out. <laughs> Ching. And then the back one, go away string. Leave me alone. And then the back one will just shuffle down. And it's also like a um, bent eye on that one. So. So loads of turns on that. And I'll just go in there. Because it's just made for it, isn't it? Yes, mate. So there you go, you've got like, like that on the floor. Oh, sexy bait that. That's a big, that is a big bait for a, anything over three pound will snaffle that, 100%. Yes, so yeah, um, the, the video of how I've done this is on the end of this video. Uh, yeah, so have, check that out at the end. And you can see here, look, it's starting to come out. It's, it's wanting to come out of that tiny little hole there and there. So, and, and if it, and obviously if a crab gets on it and starts snipping it and it's it opens, do, oh my God, uh, it just releases. Do the, do the business for you. Yeah, they just ground bait for me. And then obviously the fish come in and muscle off the crab and phew, Straight in. Yeah, so we are, that's it now. I'm fed up with catching schoolies. I want something big. Something bigger than six pound. So this is the start of the quest. Wish me luck. You know I'm gonna do it. Tight lines, mate. Yeah, I forgot to put the head on last time. Beauty. Yeah, so I am getting absolutely murdered by the crabs out there and it's not nice. So I made this up. Um, the other night when I was at home. So it's an XL pop-up and obviously they glow in the dark, these ones. Uh, if, I, if I actually put my 
like that. <laughs> See that? Yeah. It's like half glowing, half not. Half not. It's yeah. like a snowman look. Yes. Snowman rig. Snowman rig. Yeah, so I've got a panel there, look, with these ultra sharp daggers. So I'm just gonna mount that one in there. So right under the neck of the uh, where I've tied it, really easy look. And then uh, get my stringerling. How's that, Nate? Looking good? Yeah. Yeah. So Nathan's down with us tonight, trying with the lure, aren't you, mate? Yeah. So there you go, look. Already, that's looked sexy, doesn't it? Yes. And I'm just going to leave it at that, I think, because I'm only I'm literally lobbing this out. Not very far. No, literally 10, 15 yards. We are down the beach. Round like that. And then I'll just literally put them through there like that. And that, that will find its target, believe me. Yes. There you go. Look. Nice pop up. And obviously that's going to glow in the dark. And glow in the dark. Hopefully that's going to look nice and natural. Push it right to the front. And then all I've got to do is just change the rig. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I've done really well on pop-ups in the past, so uh, yeah, it's worth noting trying that. Yeah. And yeah, stick around the end of the video, I'll show you how to make your very own squid bombs. Here we are, that big squid pop-up. These pop-up rigs work best in the tide. Nice flow behind it. Here we are guys, in my kitchen, doing a bit of bait prep. So yes, squid bombs. How to make juicy, irresistible squid bombs like that. Stuffed with crab cut and tied off at the end with some heavy duty elastic. And they will be going out tonight for a very big bass. And my biggest bass um, last year on this was nine pound two. So yeah, a really, really big fish. Just snaffled it up, fish on. Yes, so how do you make that? Easy. So I've got hold of this prepared squid. You can buy it in most sort of Asian supermarkets and that. It's, uh, it comes basically with the head stuffed in it. Still frozen up. So there's the head, that was stuffed inside there. So I've just taken a spoon, oiked out the, uh, the head and I've just got a nice tube. There is a little hole in the bottom of these as well, so they need doing on both ends. So the crab cart. So I've got some nice extra salted cart there and that's very corally there. That's just pure eggs in their row from the crab. So that's really nice, but that, that has been salted for two days. When you get this stuff, it comes in like either in a, a wing or a, a lump like this and to be honest, it's a nightmare to use. You can, it's, this is lightly salted, so it hasn't been salted enough. So when you defrost that, it looks all nice and hard there now, but it actually turns into kind of jelly. So in here, I've got a piping bag with a wing in there, and it is just so soft. It is just like, look, you can see it's just like jelly. So I'm gonna squeeze some of that into one of these squid tubes and then just like wrap it up. Yeah, so that's the uh, that's the issue I've got with this. It needs extra salt in to get it from this absolutely useless stage to something that you can actually work with. And that's nice and firm now, look, and it won't just dissolve. So that's what you want. You want to salt your wings for a couple of days so they're like that. And then basically you just get a hold of a wing like that. And then I'm going to put some of the nice hard stuff in there, look. And then what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to put a little 
squeeze of the soft stuff just to cap it off. So a little squeeze in there, you can see that's just gone in. I'll pull the rest of that away, because it's all skin and sinew and stuff in there. Right, so that's a nice, it's a nice amount in there, isn't it? So now I've just got to wrap it up. So I've just got my uh, knicker elastic, because it works better, because these are quite tough, the squid. And then it's just a matter of sealing up the top. And you're going really hard. I'm going really tight on this, as tight as I can. So you've, you've sealed it, and then you go around, loop the loop, Betty. And then just gather that around, and then just gently, gently draw that string, pull it tighter and tighter until it just snaps. So there you've got one end done. So you just turn him around, leave yourself a bit of room at the end. So going about here and da -da -da. don't worry if the string comes off, you can always do it again. And don't worry if some comes out the end, it doesn't really matter. There you go. So we just lock this off. Gather up, gather up. And there you have, my friends, one squid bomb. And that is a really good bait. Like I say, I've caught, I've caught loads of big bass on that over the last couple of years. Yeah, so it's really easy to make and they'll last for ages. You can refreeze them again and again. And yes, my money's on that for a big bass tonight. There you go guys, squid bomb.